Hello friends, I am Dr. Ankit Parak and I work as a consultant in pediatric pulmonology, allergy and sleep medicine at Children's Chest Clinic, New Delhi. In this video, we will talk about a condition which affects the lungs of, the, of children which is called as bronchiectasis. Now, as we know that children in their lungs have small, small breathing airways and these breathing airways are called as bronchi. Now, sometimes these bronchi get damaged and their walls become weakened and they become dilated. Now, when this happens, it collects inside mucus or phlegm and that phlegm cannot get cleared off easily. Now, when that happens, this mucus or phlegm gets infected and it leads to further damage of these airway and this vicious cycle continues. Now, what are the symptoms of bronchiectasis in children? Well, the most important symptom of bronchiectasis in children is a persistent cough which, is, which appears to be wet or having phlegm. In older children, when they cough, they can bring out sputum as well. Now, most children, whenever they get viral infections, they will have a phase of having a wet cough, but that phase usually lasts for 5 to 10 days. But if the child remains to have a persistent cough beyond 4 to 6 weeks after a viral infection, we suspect bronchiectasis in that child. Some children keep on having cough with phlegm or a wet cough for a very long time before they get diagnosed. Now, in addition to this, children with bronchiectasis can have persistent wheezing sounds inside their airways, which can be either sometimes heard by parents or sometimes it is identified by a doctor when they examine the chest of the child with a stethoscope. Now, children with bronchiectasis can have bronchiectasis flares or also known as exacerbations where they can have periods of increased cough, increased mucus or phlegm production, change in the color of phlegm from white to yellow or green and they can also have in addition to, to this high grade fever for a few days. Now what are the causes of bronchiectasis in children? The, the most common cause of bronchiectasis in children is, is respiratory infections which do not get cleared up properly. These can be in the form of a persistent pneumonia due to a bacteria. This can be in the form of a bad viral infection. This can be in the form of tuberculosis, measles or whooping cough. Now, there are other causes of bronchiectasis, which can be genetic problems like cystic fibrosis. Children with immune deficiencies like common variable immunodeficiency, X-linked A gamma globulinemia, can also develop bronchiectasis over time. Children who have immotile cilia syndrome, also called as primary ciliary dyskinesias, can also develop bronchiectasis with time. There's a group of children where the cause of bronchiectasis is not exactly known and this group of children is called as idiopathic bronchiectasis. Now, what are the investigations which are required to identify that whether the child is having bronchiectasis or not and to identify the cause of bronchiectasis? Well, two sets of investigations are required. One set of investigation is the radiology or the imaging, which helps us to know whether this child is having bronchiectasis or not. So an X-ray of the chest and a CT scan of the chest with contrast is the first investigation which helps us to understand that the child is having bronchiectasis. We can examine the small airways in detail uh, regarding bronchiectasis and it also might give us an idea regarding the cause as well. But the specific cause of bronchiectasis needs to be evaluated further. This might require 
studies to look at the immune status of the child, it might require an airway examination from inside, also known as a bronchoscopy, and also requires the analysis of sweat chloride of the child. So these are a few investigations which can help us to understand the cause of bronchiectasis in children. Now, how do we treat bronchiectasis? Well, the treatment of bronchiectasis actually depends on the underlying cause of bronchiectasis and its treatment. So the general measures for treatment of bronchiectasis include a good chest physiotherapy. With good chest physiotherapy, the sputum or phlegm or mucus inside the airways can be brought out. And when that happens, it reduces the chances of having infections in the child. And also the child's chest keeps clear and the child doesn't cough. Physiotherapy needs to be done regularly twice a day and you need to be uh, learning this physiotherapy well. In addition to this, uh, antibiotics are required for treatment of bronchiectasis flares or exacerbations as we have talked about. So if your child is having a persistent wet cough, the cough is not going away, the, the child is having more of mucus or phlegm, or if your child is having regular wheezing, or you have already been diagnosed with bronchiectasis, do get in touch with a pediatric pulmonologist to get appropriate investigations and guidance on treatment. So thank you very much.